Hello everybody and welcome to the Casual Connor channel where I go over stuff regarding video games and video game tech. Today's video we are going to be going over an unboxing for Shax Cloud Gaming Optimized Controller. I did find this controller interesting because this is one of the only ones that will fit the Z Fold 2 and have analog triggers. So I feel like Shax has recently come into cloud gaming. This is the only controller I have seen on Amazon. Currently it is around $60 and I picked it up to be like, hey, I wanna see how this plays on the Z Fold 2 slash Z Fold 3 whenever I get the device. It's kind of funny as well because not too long ago they reached out to me and they were like, hey, do you want to help advertise our brand? And I'm like, yeah, as long as I can give an honest review. Once I said that, they didn't get back to me. So I'm like, screw it. I'm going to probably eventually own this controller anyways. So I'm just going to purchase it and test it out for myself so you guys can have an honest interpretation on how this controller works with my Z Fold 2, as well as maybe other controllers, you, you know, you'll get a gist for it. With that being said, we are going to be getting right into it. I hope you guys do enjoy, and if you do, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and leave a comment to what you guys would like to see going forward. With that being said, again, we're gonna get right into it, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, like I said, we are going to get right into the unboxing, see what we've got going on. So first off, we do have our cable. Not a big deal. I have 50,000 quadrillions of those in my house somewhere. They're everywhere, so I'm not too worried about that. What we've got, so probably it feels like the controller is in here. So that's pretty cool. They got an, it's actually a pretty nice leather pouch. I dig it. And then it looks like we have our manual, our quick guide pairing, uh, how to download the application stuff. We do not need, so that got yeeted. And of course, I guess the box itself. From what I've heard, this box is apparently made out of 100% recycled materials. So if you're into that, cool. I mean, you know, save the planet. Woot! <laughs> Moving on. Uh, you also get this little nifty cool, get out of there little uh, D-pad adapter to have uh, maybe a little bit more accuracy. I've actually never used one of these, so I'm excited to figure out how to put it on the controller and use it to see if it's any better than what uh, controllers usually have. So that's pretty cool. All right, uh, I'm not gonna throw that box this time. I'm, so we don't wanna throw that, I'm just gonna set it right there. Yeah, all right. Uh, so now we get into the nitty gritty of the unboxing. Cool. Okay. Anything else fancy in there? Nope. So just a controller. That makes sense. That's a good looking controller. Honestly, I was a little concerned about this device just because of how it looked uh, on Amazon. It looked really small. I, I wasn't sure if this was going to be an uncomfortable feel, even though it did have these. It was a very edgy, but Honestly, I think it's a little bit more comfortable than my GameSir Bluetooth controller. Uh, again, I'll obviously have to do a lot more playing on it, but just first impressions. It feels really nice, really nice, like I like it. So how the buttons feel? I mean, A, B, Y, X, they feel very clicky. Uh, that's the best way to describe them. They click. Ooh, those are also really clicky. That's very nice, very nice. Wow, okay, that's that's a very good D-pad. That I That's impressive. Um, so <laughs> moving on, also does look like you have your, your start power, I guess the turn it on functions. You also have something that's called function and select, as well as your triggers. Again, these are analog, so I'm excited to see how these work again this is one of the only if not the only telescopic controller that has analog controllers that will fit the z fold 2 which is why i ended up purchasing this device it uh, looks like we have a little bluetooth function button as well opens up and it, you got your little charging thing that, that you plug in with the usb and then you have of course the important uh modes to switch this in it looks like we have Android, Windows, Apple, and settings. I can almost guarantee you 
the settings version is going to be the mapping and the Android looking option is going to be your like X input for cloud gaming and emulation and stuff like that. Awesome. I'm excited to test this booger out. Uh, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to put it in my phone right now to see what we've got going on. Don't look at my passcode. Uh, uh, how do they expect me to do this? Okay, so two hands. <laughs> Look, my two hands. Okay, so just like that. And it's in there. That's, it looks weird. It does with the Z Fold 2. Maybe if you had a normal looking phone, it might not look as weird. But it still doesn't feel bad. It At this angle, it does feel a little top heavy. I'm going to get a wipe down on this because this is gross. I mean, you guys know Z Fold 2 screen protector is nasty um anyways i don't think that's doing no it doesn't do anything <laughs> sorry we're just gonna have a gross screen but uh it does feel a little top heavy with the way i'm holding it right now but i feel like you know if i get in that comfortable position i'm not gonna notice it because the weight's gonna be adjusted uh, so that's pretty cool there all right so what i'm gonna do for you guys i am going to cut out this part of the video not this part of the video but the upcoming part where i just do the general pairing downloading the app updating controller things like that so i will see you guys here in a second all right guys we are back and i do have everything set up it is paired to my phone i have updated it and i'm just gonna go through the app itself real quick and we'll get into a little bit of gameplay maybe some positive maybe some negatives and then just overall opinions at the end so bear with it and we're gonna get it started so first off obviously this is the app it's the shacks app you can literally just go to the play store and download it it's there it's free it's actually really impressive as far as how the app itself works uh, so you have your little home options the first place you get to whenever you do access the application and then you can just click on the device that is paired itself and it has a handful of options gamepad settings gamepad test which is actually a pretty cool nifty option function settings so you can change what the function key does which is actually really cool uh so if you can kind of like maybe map this i haven't played with it a whole lot yet but uh that does look like a cool option there and then the firmware update the firmware update maybe took like five minutes and it does need to be plugged into uh a power to be able to update so uh you'd have to get your little charger that came with it or once you got laying around plug it into something to update it but didn't take very long pretty dope pretty easy as as well as the mapping goes the mapping was super easy as well uh, i do have it in kind of i guess what you would consider x input now so we'll go over this in just a moment but i just wanted to, to show you how easy it was to, to to get it set up so literally all you have to do is go into settings you have to go into your connections you've got to go into bluetooth and once you turn it on and it's in pairing mode, all you've got to do is click on the, the name. It's going to be Shaxx, S5B, letters, Android. That is going to dignify as the X input mode, again, if you will, just because it doesn't actually say X input. It's the mode that you're going to be using for cloud gaming and emulation and apps that do support controller input. So with that being said, I already have mapped my controller to my dolphin emulator and i'm just gonna load some twilight princess for you real quick it works fine i do apologize if it looks like i'm playing horribly again the angles matter in everything with controller reviews but it's doing really well um so like i've mapped it something i did notice is on some applications i don't feel like it's on all of them uh the l button the the l analog triggers are very trigger happy so like if you barely press on it uh it it'll trigger so once i'm holding it like in my comfortable position i'll notice me accidentally pressing uh the analog button when i'm not pressing on it it just is so sensitive that it thinks i am and to kind of explain further what i'm talking about i know it's not in mapping mode you you chill <laughs> we're going to go into the gamepad test and you see, I'm barely, I, I'm just holding it like I would regularly. Now, I feel like not all games I was having an issue. Like I tested some Stadia games. I tested Moonlight. 
that connects to my computer and I it, I didn't have any issues just holding it like I regularly would but whenever I am using the mapping service or I am using the emulator like Dolphin uh, I, I noticed it was a little too sensitive for my liking and that's probably just because of of two softwares meshing together that don't fully cooperate. But the rest of the buttons do work beautifully. Here's where it gets a little tricky and it's not bad by any means, it's just different. Uh, so as far as if you need to change the input, so you're you're tired of playing a cloud game, you wanna play some COD mobile or you wanna play Genshin Impact, you literally have to turn off the controller, which is fine, it's just that power button right there, change the input mode, to its little Android emulation that we saw a moment ago, but now my camera's fuzzy and doesn't want to pick it up. Um, so change it all the way to the bottom. That's the mapping mode. And you've got to go back into your Bluetooth settings and you've got to literally completely unpair the device. Turn it back on. You see right now, it's just blinking. That's not pairing mode. You have to press the Bluetooth button to get, you'll see the two dots blink here in just a second. And then I'm going to scan for Bluetooth devices and mapping pops up. So if you try to do it without unpairing, the name will still change, but it will either not allow you to pair it or it will allow you to pair it and it not work. Uh, so I just found disconnecting it, reconnecting it was the safest way to go. And here in a moment, it should act like it's supposed to sort of. Uh, okay. So now that that's paired, Oh, that's okay. We're going to pair it again, and hopefully I didn't break anything. <laughs> uh, so now we're just going to go to mapping, and that's this is honestly where it gets pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I wonder if I can delete this. Yeah. So from here, whenever we go to the mapping, we're going to hit register game and then search games. I am going to choose Genshin Impact for this demonstration. And it's cool, whenever you select a game, it is going to give you a handful of options depending on your device. Now, to be honest, I don't know what the Samsung Fold name is, so I'm just gonna click one and it's gonna ask me to download it. So I clicked the top right one. That might not be the same one that you get whenever you download it, but you download it and it pops up as a registered game. So directly whenever you're in the Shax application, you have two different options. You can either go to play game or you want to play in edit mode. I would at least recommend play in edit mode for the first time because this does bring up the Shax on screen icon so you can map the controls and change them how you need to. But once you've done that, you can just hit play game and it's going to hide the controls. It's gonna hide that little option for you. It's actually really cool on how that works out. I already have Genshin Impact open just because it saves some time with the loading and ain't nobody got time to wait for 20 hours of loading. At least I don't, I got stuff to do, sort of. But once the game is loaded, you see that it works perfectly. It just, I you saw the live settings and it, that's crazy, that's awesome. And then whenever you're done, you just close the game. Sometimes the mapping controls do pop up on screen, but you can just close that out and then from there, Maybe you have to close the application. Let's try that. Mwaha! And then it closes. But it is just super simple how it does work out. It honestly did take me a couple tries to get the hang of it. Honestly, that's that's why we test these, get a valid opinion, and then kind of go from there. But once you learn the ins and outs of the software, once you learn the ins and outs of the hardware, so far with a few hours that I have been testing this, this might be a game changer for me, but that is just going to be my general first impressions review and unboxing. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments again. Is this a controller that you're interested in? Would you like me to perform more gameplay with this controller for you guys so you can get an opinion before you buy? Because again, $60 isn't cheap. I feel like it's pretty average for mobile gaming, but it's still not cheap. Yeah. Let me know and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you never miss a video and we will see you guys next time.